Hello, everyone, and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of August 13th, 2023. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And let's start the week by taking stock of where we currently find ourselves. It's the last week of Leo season and fall is in the air. The days are definitely getting shorter. It's a little colder here in the mornings in Montana. We're also in the middle of a very unusual retrograde season. With four planets in Chiron currently retrograde and Mercury going retrograde next week. So as the summer winds down and Virgo season starts next week, our focus starts to shift and it's less on fun and more on getting ready for the fall and focusing on the nuts and bolts of our lives. The upcoming three weeks at Mercury's retrograde is not a time for moving full steam ahead, but a time where we're reviewing and we're revising things. This week on Wednesday, we have a new moon. And while the new moon itself only lasts a brief moment, its energy takes effect three days before and hangs around for about three days after. So we are in new moon energy right now. And this Leo new moon starts a new lunar cycle that we can use as a fresh start. You've probably already had some aha moments and realizations about things you want to change in your life during this retrograde time. And we don't have to wait until the retrogrades are over to make changes in our lives. This moon gives us a chance to make those changes now. And a Leo new moon is a nice little new moon where we're in tune with our hearts, we're connected to love, and we're feeling extra creative. It's a time when it's easier to just focus on the positive stuff in our lives. And this is fantastic news because I have found the past few weeks that I have had to work to stay in balance. Most of the time I live in this lovely balance flow energy, and lately just to get in this state has taken work extra meditation, extra time in nature, more time focusing on gratitude. So thank you, new moon, for a break just from all the extra effort for a while. And this Leo new moon also activates the Venus retrograde that is happening right now in Leo. Venus retrograde stirs up relationship issues, not just relationships with others, but also our relationship with money and our self-worth. So when it comes to our relationship with others, Venus retrograde can trigger us, or should I say it gives us an opportunity to set boundaries, to learn how to deal with conflict, and to learn when to walk away. The moon is also tightly square Uranus, which is the planet known as the Great Awakener, which means you may get some surprises or things will come out of nowhere and suddenly your world is completely different. So with the combo of Uranus, Venus, and the new moon, it very well well may be that the surprising news we get will bring major changes to our relationships. Now remember, planets can't cause something to happen, but their alignments can be a trigger. So if the relationship is struggling or it needs to go a different way, this type of energy can definitely bring that straight to the surface. And new moons are always reminders of new beginnings. So the surprises, the sudden events, or if something does exit your life right now, know there's always the opportunity to begin again. So one of the things I love about this new moon is how it helps us simplify. When we simplify, life becomes easier. It's less emotionally heavy and it makes room for joy. Simplifying helps us soften. And when we soften, we ultimately go more with the flow. So this is the time to focus on simplicity. So what do you need to simplify in your life? Where are you overcomplicating things? Yeah, we could always simplify by getting rid of stuff we don't need, clearly the stuff around our homes. We could also simplify by letting go of some time commitments. Are there any activities or things you're committed to that you can release right now? We can also simplify by reducing the number of goals in our life to one or two. So when we have fewer goals, we improve our focus and we improve our success rate and we take some pressure off of ourselves. 
So give yourself a break right now. Take a couple of your goals off the table. Another way to give yourself a break and simplify is to take things off your to-do list. Stop multitasking. Research shows that multitasking increases stress and actually lowers productivity. So learn the art of single tasking, doing only one thing at a time. Focusing on one thing at a time helps us be present. Venus retrograde also helps us simplify our bills. This is the time to set up any auto payments and maybe consolidate some credit card bills and to cut back on things that you're spending money on that you just really don't care about. You know, the great news with this cute little Leo new moon is that it generally makes us feel a little better and it helps us take a little bit more action. This has kind of been a lazy retrograde time. We'll take it because it's been summer and it's been fabulous. And you might not have felt very motivated lately. And this new moon helps us move forward a bit. Are we full steam ahead? No. But the moon helps us at least get moving forward a little bit. So we're experiencing a lot of change this summer and shedding lots of things that we've outgrown. Yeah, there are emotions wrapped up in some of the things we're letting go of. Some of them are ready to release and others we we may be sad to see go. But we're constantly moving forward in life, and this moon offers us a clean slate and a chance to start over again. And we can use the new moon energies to get clear about what we want to focus on in our lives. Just getting clear is doing something. Just getting clear is moving forward. And if that's all you have to do, that's pretty darn easy for this moon. So the themes right now this week are to simplify and clarify. Simplify and clarify. And then just enjoy this last week of Leo season before the fall gets here. And that's it for the week. I have a spiritual retreat client visiting for the next three days. I mean, it's a perfect time right now with this new moon energy for her to visit to relax and get a break from the intense retrograde energies that we've been in. We're going to do some horseback riding, go to Yellowstone, soak in some hot springs, and eating lots of fantastic meals, probably some ice cream too. So as always, thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it. My summer money reset is still available to help you reset your money energy and attract more money. Uh, Might be a good time with this new moon to focus on that. It's also perfect for helping you get your financial life in order. It's only $33 and includes hypnosis, guided meditation, an energetic reset video, and a workbook with lots of activities to help you reset. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes, or you can go to the spiritual practice page on my website, abundology.com. Happy new moon, everyone, and I'll talk to you again next week.